Yes guys, what I can say, wow, this, so nice guys. Welcome guys, welcome, 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 welcome to Barry My Cooking. For you today guys, we're going to make a nice, amazing sari juice. Very, very nice. Around this time of year in Jamaica guys, we love our sari. When we say we love our sari, we love our sari. If you're not a sari like us, you're not ask nothing. You understand? So, I'm going to show you how I make my nice sari juice guys. Very simple and easy. You got two types of sari. You the dry one with them, process. And you got the fresh one. I luckily that I get the fresh sari guys. Fresh sari. I already washed and cleaned my sari, so you're ready and good to go. That's all you need. What is sari? Sari is a hibiscus plant, guys. Very good. It can do a lot of things. It's good for the immune system. It can do a lot of things. You can read it up and see where the plants come from. You can see what is good for you guys. And right here, I got my QPR rum. Normally, use red label wine. We don't red label wine right now. I got a QPR rum. Similarity to red label wine, but you know, the red label wine is still the best. It's a nice what red wine used inside. Right here now guys, I got the um overpool rum. It's a nice Jamaican rum also, very nice and flavorful guys, strong. You put the amount of alcohol you can take for your sorry. So if, if you don't like too much rum, put less rum. If you don't like alcohol, then well no alcohol. But as I said guys, make your sorry juice, put alcohol inside, that give the right kick. The right, yes may I say so? Yes. Over here I got some fresh ginger. Very, very nice, fresh ginger guys, very, very nice. And all you need to do a bit of ginger and add it inside. Right here, we got some white sugar. You can use regular sugar, dark sugar, no problem. The pot is here, water is at ready to go. And I'm going to show you how I start my. my what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to add the sari inside the warm water. Inside that. Very simple, guys. Very, very simple to make. It's right there. Then, so I just like this. You can also beat it, but I just like this. Like that. Chop them inside. Mush them like that, guys. You get the nice flavor, guys. You want a lot of ginger in there guys, like that ginger flavor, put it inside. And guys, my ginger is already washed. Inside there. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover it. Let it boil for at least 30 minutes, and you can turn it off, and you can leave it overnight. So you can draw and get a nice flavor, and everything cool and Everything just come together guys and that's how you make it, that's how you start off your um your sorrel when you're making your nice sorrel juice guys. Very simple. As I said, it takes a little time, but guess guys, it's worth the wait because it's a very it's a very famous juice. And as I said back home, we all love this juice guys. We all want this juice of house. We all want to drink this juice guys. So as you can see right here, you see everything is inside the pot and it's going. So as I, as I said, 20 to 30 minutes, you turn the fire off, leave it, it's good to go. Then I move the next step by adding my ingredients, guys. So, in your brother's kitchen, good food always coming your way, and it's about being creative. It's all about um, make food come to life. It's all about do something different. It's all about doing what you love. So, as I said, it's going to boil, and then we'll get back to it. As you can see right now, guys, it's already boiled, and everything is soiled. Everything has got mashed out. The flavor, the scent, everything looking nice, guys. And this is how you start off by making a nice, amazing sorrel juice, guys. Look at it. Very nice and red and rich, guys. Very simple and easy to make. As I can see right now, everything mashed out. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to um, cover it up, turn the stove off, and let it sit. You cannot put this in the fridge because you don't want it to damage your fridge, guys. So you're just going to leave it there, sit overnight. We'll get back to it. Look at it, guys. Yeah, very simple and easy to make, guys. I'm telling you. As I said, it's a very famous juice, very good immune system. And then these bad boys can go inside. 
So let it stay there for a little while, let it cool and that's overnight. You can flavor it and add all the ingredients inside. As you can see now guys, um, it's already cool. So time to strain it guys. Take out all the particles. As I said, you make the boil it, you keep it overnight, let it rest to get a nice flavor guys. So as I said right now, I'm just gonna chew it right out. Look at it guys, nice and red. Look at it guys, nice and rich. This so way you start, so you make um, a nice um, sarrel. As I said, it's a very famous juice back home in Jamaica. Around Christmas time. And I said that's what I want to share with you guys. So if you like, you guys can try it. People make it many other different ways. But this is the way that I make it and it's very simple and easy and you guys can do it too. That nice arm um, flavor guys, that nice ginger flavor. Yes guys, as you can see right now, I already strained my sorrel. They put all the particles inside. So now what I'm gonna do now guys, I'm gonna sweet my sorrel. As I said, I'm using white sugar, you can use brown sugar. And these are the stuff I'm putting inside. These are the alcohols. You don't have to add alcohol inside what I'm saying. To make a nice, um, a real rich sorrel. Make it flavorful, you know, so you can't without a rum. So right here, I'm using some white or approved rum. I mean, some red wine. Normally, I should be using um, red label wine, but I couldn't get red label wine, so I get a nice wine here right here. It's a QC Ruby, high rich Ruby wine. Very, very nice, very, very flavorful, guys. And I'm gonna use it for to flavor this nice, amazing. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it. You put the amount of um, alcohol you want inside, as I said before, put the amount you want inside. If you, if, you, if you don't want it strong, you put less. If you want it more stronger, you put more inside. So we're gonna jump straight into it now, guys. So now I'm gonna need my rum. So guys, as I said, you are the amount you want inside. Now, my QC red wine. It's very, very nice and flavorful, guys. Add it inside. Like that. Then, my sugar. You want it sweet, nice and flavorful, guys. Give it that mix. Yes, guys, if you could, if you could have smelled the scent that comes from this nice side right now, guys. Oh, it's so amazing. Very simple and easy guys, I'm telling you, very simple and easy recipe guys. All your friends and family can enjoy around Christmas time. Simple and easy to make guys, very simple and easy to make. Give it a taste. Mm -hmm. It's old fashioned with a 20 and like this. And taste it. You can't take some more sugar, but guess what? I'm not going to put more sugar in it because, as I said, you know it's too sweet, and you, know, you want it rum, everything does have a nice balanced flavor, guys. So, let it sit there, guys, again. What oh, I'm telling you, guys. Mm -mm. Nice. And it is the rum, as I said, the red wine. Yes, guys, that wine, I'm going to throw myself a glass. And when you drink this guy, you just want to relax. You 
So I'm relaxed, guys. When you drink this, you only want to relax. Because this is a juice here, guys. Make you feel the Christmas fever. So let's give it a taste now, guys. Mm -mm. Yeah, guys, yeah. And thanks for watching, guys. With a like. I'm going to share the subscribe and thumbs up. Mm. Guys, the recipe will be in the description below. As you can see, you already see everything right here, guys. And it's all in the making a nice style, guys. This is so flavorful, it's so nice. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a bomb. Yeah, man, I'm out.